For more on this story, we can go across to Philip Sherwell, Asia correspondent for the Sunday Times. Philip, will this have an impact, this latest move from the junta? Well, the, the, the military here are really just trying to crack down on alternative sources of information that, that are not being pushed across by their state media propaganda channels. And, um, you know, for people in sort of some of the more remote parts of, of Myanmar, you know, there definitely will be a, an effect here of, of losing access to, to international coverage of what's happening in the country. The, the juncture has already um, revoked the... Um, the permissions to publish of a series of domestic media. Um, they've arrested more than 80 journalists since the coup. There's a thought to be about 50 currently um, detained. Um, and they are trying to cut off all sources of sort of information that um, that they, you know, that are undermining their message that we're in control, that the nation is behind us. Um, so, you know, you're seeing, um, you're seeing the junta using these sort of techniques to tr try and uh, sort of demonstrate their authority over the country. Um, that is still, as you mentioned, you know, there are still people coming out on the streets. More, more significantly, there is still a, a very widespread strike movement, the civil disobedience movement. Um, the junta is struggling to impose this message, but certainly, you know, they will, impo you know, pursue any sort of heavy-handed attempt they can to, um, to, to demonstrate that they are the ones um, running the show. In power, indeed. Now, Philip, where do things stand concerning regional efforts to bring the situation in, in Myanmar, you know, uh, not under control, but uh, more uh, back on the part of democratic rule? Yes, well, they've, they've, they seem to have stalled at the moment. Um, there was uh, a meeting of the uh, Association of Southeast Asian Nations, which the um, junta leader, General Min Ong Lang, attended. Um, he obviously wanted the air of legitimacy of, of, of being there with other leaders. They, um, there was an agreement on a five-point consensus, which was centered around the idea of a, appointing a special envoy who would go to Myanmar, would talk to the various parties. There's not been any progress on the naming of an envoy or, or of access to um, to the country. And, um, you know, the, the, the UN, the Security Council, they've said that we're um, we're all behind um, a regional solution. So, you know, absent that making any any progress, then, then you know, it's very difficult to see sort of how this, the, how, how people are exerting pressure on the junction. And the Burmese, the military, sorry, the, the Myanmar opposition, the, the resistance, the, the supporters of the deposed government, they are also sort of saying, well, you know, we're, we're losing uh, confidence in the ability of the, of the regional community or the international community to come to our, our, our aid. They're saying we're establishing people's defense forces. Um, there have been a number of attacks on um, government officials, um, reports of decapitated bodies, people stabbed, um, liaison with the ethnic groups. So this could be moving to a much more violent stage in terms of where the opposition believes they have to take their protests because they're just not seeing any, um, any progress on the diplomatic front. Philip, thank you very much for that. Philip, a show will there.